Sao Paulo, home to 11 million people and one unique school. For 20 years, Fernanda Bianchini has been teaching dance to the blind. Today, the dancer and physiotherapist has 120 pupils aged from 3 to 60. The pupil touches the teacher's body. The teacher touches the pupil's body. We click our fingers so they have a clearer idea of where they are in the space. So I understand the world of the blind, its limits. That's how the teaching method was created, with everything based on touch and physical perception. Foi por isso que nasceu o método de ballet para cegos, todo através do toque e da percepção corporal. Over the years, Bianchini has developed her own teaching method, one that demands the same level of performance from her students, whether they have a disability or not. The courses help them improve their posture, balance, spatial awareness and self-confidence. They take longer to learn than a pupil who is able to use the mirror to practice the movements. But once they learn, they're so focused that the result ends up being the same as a pupil without a disability. Some of her dancers are blind, some visually impaired or have other disabilities, and only 10% are sighted dancers. Jaisa Pereira has been coming here since the beginning 20 years ago. As well as being lead dancer, Jaisa has also been teaching for over a year. For me, Fernanda was like a star who showed me a path that I didn't know existed. So she's the star that I decided to follow in my life. Fernanda Bianchini's devotion isn't only about teaching. She wants to change the perception people often have about disabled people. I want these children to be applauded for the quality of their work, for their dedication, for the beautiful art they're creating, not for the fact that they're unfortunate, the way many see disabled people. This is a message she wants to promote when her company goes on tour in South America and Europe. Her goal now is to open similar schools, first in Brazil and then worldwide. I get very emotional because I believe all this happened because I put a lot of love into everything. Because when you do something with love and expect nothing in return, things happen. My dream is they shine like stars, and they've already been shining for many years. <laughs>